heading from Dalat to Natrang on the coast. So we think it's going to be about four hours um, <laughs> and we leave at 10 so hopefully we'll be there about two o'clock. Yeah it shouldn't be too bad, it should be an easy one and it's going to be quite luxury because we are getting a taxi. Yeah we're so, being naughty. So it's going to be good compared to a shoddy little bus. <laughs> yeah if you saw our last vlog we explained why we're getting a taxi um, but yeah basically we left things too late it was all a bit of a balls up and to stop Tony being sick for four hours straight, we are getting a taxi. But <laughs> well, we're still headed to the pharmacy to get some motion sickness. Yeah, we're, try yeah. we're trying to get hold of some now, but we've only got about an hour before we leave. Um, so yeah, we need some snacks, we need the pharmacy, we need some cash, need and we coffee. need coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, so we managed to get everything we needed to get and now we're just waiting for our taxi. I got my travel sickness tablets. Yay! So Hopefully went for us. <laughs> um, yeah, we think this is our car. Um, we don't really know. We just worked out for four nights in this autumn hotel with breakfast and the taxi. It was about £25 a night. Very good. <laughs> driving for about what, two hours maybe and this is unbelievable like, the mountain range is just gorgeous it's like a waterfall coming down over there and the road that I think we're going on is here it's all the way up with our apartment involving a machete it's a whole long story but follow us on Instagram because then you'll see what I'm talking about um, anyway we are it's our first full day today so we're gonna get some nice breakfast hopefully um, and check out the beach and then see if we can see what else we should be doing here um, but yeah weather's good it's not hot but just about coping in my shorts and t-shirt so yeah, anyway, let's get some breakfast and then go to the beach. This place came quite highly rated. Um, people say it looked like a tourist trap because it's so like funky inside. We just saw it in the same group as we were in Bowie, um, Dalat. <laughs> same company, um, which is pretty cool. So that was really nice. It's looking quite good. But yeah, there's. Um these levels and it literally is kind of like a tree house and you've got all these different types of places to sit and then there's this slide for kids it looks like a death trap it is so steep and then there's like a sudden very abrupt stop um yeah and that's uh i don't think i'm gonna be going like that um but yeah let's see what we can get i'm hoping there's good coffee because i've got a proper espresso machine down there and that's always a good sign um, but it's actually really cute it's really lovely <laughs> Basically, it's a full English, but in a Vietnamese fashion. Holy moly! So you've got mushrooms that look a bit funny, tomatoes, you got bacon, you got the sausages, but they're kind of the Frankfurter style sausages. Hash browns, hash browns, quail's eggs, quail's eggs, and a little toasted baguette, and a baguette, and possibly 
Is that ketchup looks and brown like, sauce? Looks like soy sauce. Soy sauce, of course. Do you want soy sauce with your beans? Yeah. <laughs> right. We're supposed to be able to cross the road here, but there are no. But there's no crossing, there's no lights, so there's no break in the traffic, and it's four, no, sorry, eight lanes of traffic. So we're doing it. We actually found a slight window. Oh my god, we, we found, found a window. window. We're doing it, quick, after this, after this little piece. We found a gap. Yeah, we did it! Yeah! We left! Yay! Okay, this is suddenly getting... It's actually looking awesome. Really nice, and weirdly, so built up. That's strange, because when you're walking down the little road, you almost don't even realise that you're amongst skyscrapers. Yeah, we are just walking to the beach. Feels good. I've got high hopes all of a sudden. Feels really good. <laughs> wow, look at this. Louisiana brew house because um, we follow this couple from Philadelphia, uh, Ryan and Stacia, Death by Blog, and it looked really really cool. But it's absolutely packed, so we can't get a bed. Um, but this one's next to it, and they do cold coconuts and beer, and it's only a pound each for oh, is it more than that? Two pounds each for the whole day on the beds. So it's not bad. <laughs> uh, can't complain really. anything else to show you from Natrang is because we didn't really vlog we took a few days off yeah it's kind of like a little beach break for us yeah um, but we still felt like we wanted to video a few bits so we've kind of like made this video out of that yeah so we filmed getting there which you've seen we filmed the first day when we went to the beach but then after that we actually didn't do much at all that like, we didn't do anything we didn't fully explore Natrang uh, so we didn't want to show you just us doing the same old thing over and over again. Yeah, we weren't like proper touristy at all. Like no. we didn't do like the mud bath stuff no, or any of that. that. So no. it was, um, yeah, it wasn't the best viewing, if you like, for no. what we did. And we took a bit of a break from filming every day. And yeah, it was, was it was a good trip. I would say yeah. as a quick, like from what we saw from the Trang, it was good. The beach was really lovely. The beach was awesome. Yeah, the beach was really, really lovely. Like, better than I was actually expecting, if I'm honest. <laughs> um, but the town itself, I didn't love it. I think that's probably part of the reason why we en didn't end up vlogging, because I didn't personally feel like... I, w I wasn't excited by the place to film it. No, I mean, it was it was nice. The restaurants that were there were good. There's a few good coffee shops and stuff. Um, but yeah, we've shown you what we liked about it. Yeah. And like I said, we can't really give a full review because yeah. we did. This is we not a comprehensive review. No, because we, we didn't <laughs> go. We didn't go to Natrang with that intention to really like take everything out of it. We no. went there thinking that's gonna be where we can like relax for a few days. Yeah. To then go on and enjoy the rest of the places we're going to. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. But just a quick thing on the train. Really good for the beach. It's got a lot of hotels and restaurants, but we didn't really feel like, I don't know, it didn't really feel like Vietnam. 
It didn't really feel like us either. We're not very no. like beach break people. Like when no. we went to Koh Lanta in Thailand, I don't know, we had to have bikes and we had to go out seeing things because otherwise we just get, well, I get very bored if I'm just sitting yeah. on the beach. And the tram felt like it was definitely a Bit beach, beach stop. Resort, yeah. So maybe like two days, three days there. And you'd I think be, max, yeah. yeah. We had four days there, which was fine because we had an apartment. Um, so yeah, it was fine. But I don't think you need any more time than that. And personally, if you're not a big beach person and you're short on time, I probably wouldn't even say it's high priority on the list. No, if you're trying to like blitz to get, through Vietnam as yeah. much as you can, you're not like a typical beach like resort beach lover. Person, yeah. Um, then yeah, I would definitely say carry on up the coast or down yeah. the coast, whichever way you're going. It wasn't our favourite place in Vietnam, that's for sure. No, but again, no. it was very nice still. So yeah. I mean, the whole of Vietnam's awesome. We love it. Um, so yeah, I mean, anyway. nothing else to say really. We always start this saying, right, we're not going to ramble, we're not going to ramble, and then... <laughs> we don't know how to not ramble. 20 minutes later, I'm joking, it's not, I hope it's not 20 minutes. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I think we'll just call it a day on that, and the next video you will see, I always get confused with all of this, oh, we yeah. go from Nha Trang to Da Nang to Hoi An. We don't stay in Da Nang, <laughs> we go to Hoi An. Hoi An, Hoi An is awesome i'm really yes. excited to see the footage you got from that so stay tuned for that and there is an awesome surprise in hoi an that is like maybe the happiest person ever so it's really stay cool. tuned for that but for now we will say good night and we'll see you in the next video Bye bye, bye.